everyone welcome to math score it's vedic math level 3 day 39 and today we will learn about vedic math technique for square root of any three digit imperfect square so let's start it but before that if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon also don't forget to like share and comment for this video let's solve some examples on it to find out square root of any three digit imperfect square it is most important that you should know square of 11 to 20 numbers very well and so that i have mentioned a table here in which you can see square of 11 to 20 numbers are given okay now let's take example on it first example is square root of 130 and you know very well 130 is three digit imperfect square According to the Vedic math technique, first of all, we need to find out between which two perfect square this 130 lies. So here is the answer 11 square 121 and 12 square 144. Okay, so you can see 130 lies between 121 and 144. So we can write down 121 less than 130 and 130 less than 144. Now after that, we need to find out less perfect square than 130 which is 121 and take square root of 121 which is 11 so write down 11 here and after that in the next step we need to subtract this 121 from 130 so 130 minus 121 is equal to 9 now write down 9 here and divide this by 22 which is double of 11 so if we solve this mixed fraction then we will get 11 multiplied by 22 is equal to 242 and add this 9 in it. So 242 plus 9 is equal to 251 divided by 22. If we solve this fraction then we will get 11.409 and this is our final answer and square root of 3 digit imperfect square 130. Okay. Next example is square root of 3 digit imperfect square 363 so first of all write down square of 11 to 20 numbers here after that let us find out between which two perfect square this 363 lies so here is the answer 19 square 361 and 20 square 400 you can observe in this table so we can say that 363 lies between 361 and 400 so we can write 361 is less than 363 and 363 is less than 400. Now select less perfect square than 363 which is 361. Now take square root of 361 which is 19. Now write down 19 here and then we need to subtract 361 from 363. So 363 minus 361 is equal to 2. Now write down 2 here and divide it by double of 19 which is 38. So it become a mixed fraction form. We can read it as 19 of 2 upon 38. And if we simplify this one and solve then we will get uh, this into the decimal fraction form and which is 19.052 and this is square root of imperfect square 363. And this is your final answer. Let's solve third example on it. Example is square root of 571. Now to solve this example, we should know square of 21 to 30 number very well. So that I have mentioned a table in which you can see square of 21 to 30 numbers are given. Now let's solve this example according to the Vedic math technique. So first of all, let us find out between which two perfect square this 571 lies. So you can see in the table, there are two numbers 23 and 24 so uh, so 23 square is 529 and 24 square is 576 so we can say 571 lies between 529 and 576 so here we can write down 529 is less than 571 and 571 is less than 576 now select less perfect square than 571 which is 529 and take square root of 529 which is 23 now write down 23 here and then subtract 529 from 571 so 571 minus 529 is equal to 42 now write down 42 here and divide it by double of 23 which is 46 now it become a mixed fraction form and if we simplify this mixed fraction form and calculate then we will get answer in the decimal fraction as 23.913 
okay and this is our final answer and square root of 571 let's solve one more example on it example is square root of 735 so first of all write down square of 21 to 30 here next we need to find out between which two perfect squares 735 lies so here you can see that 27 square is 729 and 28 square is 784 so we can say 735 lies between 729 and 784 now we can write like this 729 is less than 735 and 735 is less than 784 now select less perfect square than 735 which is 729 now take square root of 729 which is 27 write down 27 here and next we need to subtract 729 from 735 so 735 minus 729 is equal to 6 now write down 6 here and divide it by double of 27 which is 54 now it is a mixed fraction if we simplify it and find out answer in a decimal fraction then we will get 27.111 and this is our final answer and square root of three digit imperfect square 735 which is 27.111 in this way you can solve and you can find out square root of any three digit imperfect square